Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are having a great day. Let's go ahead and jump right into this EOC prep. We only have just a little bit more before um, we take that EOC, so let's get right to it. All right, uh, the standard that we're looking at today is all about some key features. So, a computer technician charges a one-time fee of $50 plus an additional $20 every hour of labor. If an equation is determined to use the te uh, technician's total charge, what does the 50 represent? So go ahead, see what you come up with, and then we're going to go over it. All right, so if I were to write this as an equation, this is linear, y equals mx plus b, that one-time fee is going to be my initial value. It is going to be my y-intercept. The slope is how much he's charging per hour. So that slope is how much he's charging per hour. All right, let's just continue on here. Um, please remember you do have your standards checkpoint number four in USA Test Prep. Please, please, please make sure you are getting those done. All right, so moving right along here. Corinne has a cell phone plan that includes 200 minutes for phone calls and unlimited texting. An additional fee is charged using uh, for using more than 200 minutes. The figure below on the graph, C equals F of M, where C is the monthly cost after M minutes. What is the minimum monthly cost for her cell phone plan. So what is the minimum amount that she pays? If you said $30, that is correct. That minimum amount is $30. So she pays $30 all the way until she hits 200 minutes. After that, it starts going up. Looking at the same information, it says what is the value of f of 150 and explain its meaning. So go ahead and what is the value at f of 150? What does it mean? So f 150, that value is 30. What that means is that that student, or sorry, that she pays $30 for 150 minutes. Okay. What about this next part? For what M is F of M 55? Hmm. So now we're given what Y is equal, but we need to find what our X is. So we need to go to about 55, and let's look over. So it would cost you $250. If you, so if you, sorry, not $250. So if you use 250 minutes, it would cost you $55. All right, and part D, what is the cost per minute after we use up those monthly minutes? So that cost per minute, we need to use slope. We need to use rate of change. Right? So I can find the rate of change between two points. So I have a point here and a point here. Rate of change is rise over run. So I want you to take a moment and try to calculate how much does it cost you per minute. So that per minute, my rise would be from 30 to 80, which would be a rise of 50 over a run of 200 to 300, which is 100. So it costs 50 cents per minute. Ooh, pricey phone plan. All right, let's continue looking at these functions. So the function f of x equals 4x minus x squared is graphed. Go ahead and select all that apply. So here's the ones that apply. F is increasing. So increasing 
all the way where x is less than 0. That is true. It is increasing still from 0 to 2. Then it begins decreasing. So from, let me use a different color here. So after 2, oh, my color didn't change. So after 2, 2 to 4, it's decreasing. And it's still decreasing after that. So it's decreasing all the way down. There we go. Nice job. Okay. We're going to go ahead and now look into a different standard. So this standard is all about comparing properties. So comparing properties of two functions with the same um, or different representations. The figure shows a graph of the function of f of x in the xy coordinate plane with a vertex at 1, 9 and the zeros at negative 2, 4. The function is defined g of x equals negative 3x plus 2. Which statements are true? So we have two functions. We have the graph and we have an equation. So I want you to take a moment to look at that information and, and to come up with an answer. All right, so looking at this, it wants us to check these ones that, um, that apply. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. So f of negative 2 is greater than g of negative 2. So at f of negative 2, we're right here at 0. To figure out what g of negative 2 is, we have to use what we did yesterday in that standards video and plug in and solve. So if I plugged in and solve this, g of negative 2 would actually be at 8. So that's not true. Um, f of negative 1 is let, or sorry, yeah, f of negative 1, which would be right here is less than g of negative 1. So again, we're going to plug in negative 1. So we would end up with 3 plus 2, which is 5. That one is also not true. Not true because they're actually the same. They're actually the same f of 0, so f of 0 would be here at 8, is greater than g of 0. So we're going to plug in g of 0. So g of 0 is equal to 2. Oh, that one is finally true. Um, g, f of 1, f of 1 is right here at 9. <clears throat> so if I plug in g of 1, Is that 9 less than negative 1? No. So let's check out this last one. f of 2 is up here at 8. So if I plug in 2, is f of 2 greater? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Nice. So when you're trying to evaluate two different functions, remember you may have to plug in. You may have to interpret it from a chart, from a graph. Um, so very good. All right. This one says that we have two linear functions, and they're represented by an ordered pair. So this is one set of information. The other one is the other set of information. Oops, I changed problems here. So the question is asking which statement is true? Go ahead and take a moment and try to figure out which statement is true. So the true statement is that they have the same rate of change. So if I was going to calculate my rate of change, for the graph, we would use rise over run. 
So here would be 2 over 1, which is 2. To figure it out from the points, we use our change in y over our change in x. And you could totally graph this if you wanted to. So negative 2 minus a negative 6 over negative 2 minus a negative 4 equals 4 over 2. So both of my slopes are 2. All right, last one we're going to look at in this standard. Which function is different than the others? So which function is different? If you chose C, that is correct. So this graph, 1, 2, 3 over 1, this is actually the graph for y equals 3x plus 1. So A and B are the same. If I use that equation and I plug in 10 for y and 3 for x, both sides are equal. If I do the same thing, so if I plug in 19, all of these coordinates work. So A, B, C, and D are all the same. All right, this is part one to a two-part series today. So I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. Make sure you watch the next video. Um, we'll have a couple more practice problems on it.